So now that I have the bare bones of my HTML5 document, it's time to kind of start moving with um, just, I guess, the basic layout inside of the body, how I'm going to organize things. Now, in the past, um, one of the first things that designers would do is they'd create a div container with an ID of something like container, right? And this held everything in the document and that kind of allowed you to you know set a width and align it to the left to the right or in the middle um, and, and with the same you know we use divs for everything we use divs for the main container we use the div for the header the you know side navigation the footer you know all that stuff um, but because that was used so much uh, HTML5 said hey you know there's a need for specific tags that are going to do this instead of just divs with these uh, classes and IDs that are that are uh, naming them because uh, because in the sense div uh, essentially it's stands for like division it has no real semantic value right uh, but we started we developers and designers started using it in a way with these semantically named IDs uh, or classes for ourselves but uh, HTML5 kind of uh, is trying to change that paradigm. And we'll start off with the article tag. Um, and the article tag is an interesting one because uh, it, you know, the question arose in my head do I use article or do I use another common one uh, called section? And uh, I, from what I've read uh, and I've seen other people say, uh, Article would be the big thing that contains all your individual sections. But I think if you do enough research on your own, you'll kind of see this is a, a little bit fuzzy. But I, I, I'm pretty sure, that, I mean, this is what I'm going to start, what I'm going to be doing until I start seeing a huge change otherwise. Because of all the research I've done, um, this is what it's telling me. Uh, and here's part Partly what I base it on is just the actual definition of the article tag. Now, it says the article tag specifies independent self-contained content. An article should make sense on its own, uh, and it could be blah, 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 redistributed independently from the rest of the site. So, and then it's showing you here some potential uses for it. Now, um, I mean, if you think... I'm making a website, I'm making a web page for Space Invaders. Now, uh, it could live, I mean, think about it like a magazine, actually. Uh, I mean, a magazine has multiple articles in it, so the magazine would be kind of parallel to our website, you know, encompassing all our pages. And it may have a specific article about Space Invaders. I mean, it could have another article about Donkey Kong, for, for all I know. But the point being is, is that, we're saying that that article about Space Invaders or about Donkey Kong could be ripped out of the magazine and distributed on its own, distributed on its own, um, and it would make sense. So th that's kind of what I'm going with over here. Um, so we'll start off with the article tag as our main encompassing container. And then I'm still going to give it an ID. And I'll go Space Invaders article. Um, and now, the other thing I'm going to do is I need a header. Uh, fortunately, this is a little more clear, is just header. Look at that, HTML5. And uh, I'm going to put in my header. Uh, now, this is just my container, right? This is not my H1. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Old H1, I'm going to go... Space Invaders. Okay, um, so the header is pretty clear. Now, here's what I was talking about before. I want a piece for my, a place to put my video. And in the past, I could have made a separate div container for the video, but I think for this, section would be more appropriate. And I'm going to give it an ID as well. And I'm going to go video, video space. How about that? Um, and I'll close that. And finally, I'll give a footer. And I'll close the footer. And in there, I could put some paragraph text that says, This site was created for 
educational use only. And let me move back, save it. All right. Um, well, let's see what our file looks like over here, shall we? Uh, let me go to preview in Firefox. And okay, whatever. Nothing there, but uh, that's the whole point. I mean, these are just kind of uh, generic tags that we're using to uh, set up the layout of our HTML5.